We're here at the Glossier pop-up store. Hold your breath, all the moves we're making. Glossier pop-up store down in Seattle in Capitol Hill and I'm just gonna do a quick haul because I'm so excited this is the cutest thing like they give you a reusable bag that has Seattle on it has Glossier on it too I love any companies that are just super sustainable so Glossier also handed out these really cool little postcards they are compostable and biodegradable. You can plant them and then you'll have a cute little wildflower. Isn't that so cool? I love that they're just so thoughtful and so sustainable. So for every uh, pop-up, they have a limited edition item. And for Seattle, they have this super cute Nalgene bottle. It has the Glossier logo on it. It was $15, but $5 of the proceeds goes to Mary's house, which is this all-women's um foundation i believe here it goes to mary's place which provides a safe inclusive shelter and services that support women children and families on their journey out of homelessness i've heard about mary's place on the keeping up the kardashians super cute like i i love water bottles and this is just so cute and it's like a nalgene bottle too and if you're from seattle it's like such a big thing to have one of these like bottles and people usually like slap all their stickers on them so i bought like a ton of stuff Ooh. and yeah i've never actually used any glossier products until today Ooh, they gave me a glossier priming moisturizer and then a sticker as well i might just stick this onto the water bottle isn't that so cute and then the items i bought came in these two cute little bagos um they're just kind of like bags of these um bubble wrap in them i want to do a full face of glossier so i bought or i tried my best to buy all of the products to do a makeup look of it so their foundation is pretty is very it's not high coverage it's not even medium coverage so i bought their concealer and their concealer has pretty decent coverage and i bought one in my shade of like my full face so i'm just going to use this as a foundation for when i do my look but here, this is what it looks like. Ooh, ooh, there we go. This is what it looks like. And this is their concealer. It's really soft. It's really moussey. I tried it in, in store. And it feels super nice. It's really lightweight. It's not like heavy, but it has a pretty decent medium coverage. It's called the Stretch Concealer. And it says just use fingertips. The It says to use fingertip to press and blend in the moisturized skin and it's buildable coverage you can add more for more coverage and yeah so i'm excited to try these out and use it on my full face um the next few products i'm super excited for these are from the glossier play line you see it glossier play and these are just kind of like eyeshadow glitters or just like face glitters overall and i oh my god this is so cute it comes in this like little I don't know. <laughs> oh my god it feels like I'm getting like a toy in one of those little Easter egg things but here so I got it in three different colors the first one is this kind of like white um, glittery color it's called phantasm and it's really pretty it's a really pretty white color here I'll try to apply some and some of my friends have used this for Coachella and it's just a glitter like this and you apply it onto your skin can you guys see focus can you guys see look at that yeah it's just super pretty it's like it's just glittery but the formula is super soft i'm so amazed by it super excited to use this for um just any fun or festival you look and the next color i got is uh oh did they give me two of the same ones Oh no, they did give me two of the same ones. Uh-oh. Darn, I'm gonna have to go back and like tell them then. So I had the gold one and I was supposed to get a yellow one too. 
Is there a receipt in here by chance? No, they didn't give me a receipt. They gave me two of the same colors and I only asked for one. So this is the other color. This is in another one of those teal rip and tear. This is in like a bright yellow color. So excited for that. Super pretty. And, and again, it's just like a really glittery. Oh, I love this. This is nice glitter. Huge chunks of glitter. Oh, this is so hard to show. Here, apply some more. This is just a nice kind of like almost like a neon golden yellow. Has little flecks in it, little sparkly flecks. But yeah, so excited to use that as and I love that like all of their things are reusable, like even this makeup bag is so cute. And it's definitely meant for like shipping and making sure products don't break, but it's also like reusable as well. Like I can see myself reusing this for little makeup brushes or something when I go on vacation. Alright, on to the second bag -o. Um, oh my back hurts. Okay. So in here I got this Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I like saw this girl in line and she has such good skin and she, was, she wasn't wearing any makeup on. And I asked her like, hey, like what are you using your face? And she's like, oh, I just washed my face with the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. And I was like, okay, definitely getting that for sure. But yeah, um, I got the large bottle. I can't remember how much this was. I can't remember how much anything was. I just know like the... I think the concealers were $18, the glitter jellies were $14, and this, maybe this was like $22, I don't know, $22 or something like that. I spent $150, $157 at the pop-up, which is like, Amy, like, what are you doing? You shouldn't be spending this much, but you know what? It's, uh, it's a pop-up store, it only happens once, so yeah. Um, yeah, and I, you know, I'm gonna make a YouTube video out of it. Oh, my back hurts. So it's a little more worth it. And while I was waiting in line for the pop-up store, the Glossier, one of the Glossier girls let us try some of the MangoBomb.com. And oh my god, this smells so good. It smells as though it's like, like a mango candy. Like one of those like Asian mango hard candies that you'll get in like a claw machine or at like a restaurant or something. Yeah, it smells so good. It's just a lip balm, or it's more of like a salve, a skin salve. So you can apply it anywhere, like on your cuticles, like on your lips, or it's really anywhere that's dry. And oh my god, this dried. This dried down on my skin, and it's this dried down on my skin, and it's so it's so soft. Can you guys see it? Oh, it feels so comfortable. It's not like it's not like when you like put on some eyeshadow of like heavy sparkles in it that it hurts and it crushes up. No, it's like super soft. I love that. But yeah, this lip balm just smells so good. Pretty much the reason why I bought it. It just smells hella good, and I'm I'm all for lip balms. I keep one in like every bag. So, so yeah, that's that. And then I also got the boy brow as well. Um, yeah, since I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed, I'm guessing that I won't need to draw my eyebrows in anymore. So I'm just gonna like use the boy brow to like gel up my brows and brush them in and fill them in just a little bit so yeah excited to use this this is a boy brow and i have stuff on my eyebrows so it's not worth showing you guys right now but i'll show you guys when i do my face of glossier let's see what else did i get oh yeah and i got this thing called a halo scope and it's like a do effect highlighter it's not like the full-on super bright highlighters, but it just gives your face like a very dewy effect. And I'm super excited to try this because I do like more of like a dewy glow sometimes and like a full-on glow. Um, like it's kind of like my Laura Mercier um, face illumin illuminator. But yeah, this is just super pretty. I got it in the shade Topaz. When you apply it on, it's just a super... Can I? Can you see it? It's just a super pretty like golden sheen, but when you blend it out, it just blends out so nice and just gives your your face like a nice little dewy glow. Can you see, see it? I'll do it over here too. But yeah, this is definitely like more of like a no makeup day makeup. But yeah, I'm super excited to try it. Maybe I'll get, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get converted and I'll start doing like super naturally makeup looks, but I don't know. I just thought these products were super fun and wanted to give them a try. So yeah. Did, did spend quite a bit at the Glossier store, but yeah, super excited to try all of these. Um, and not to mention, all of their products are pretty clean too, and it's definitely worth the price. Clean products, sustainable, um, 
cruelty free and they're made in Canada. Hey Banks. But yeah, if you guys haven't uh, yet, the Glossier store, the Pop store is definitely worth um, checking out. I believe it is on 200 East Broadway in Capitol Hill. It's right near like Trendy Wendy and uh, it used to be where the old American Apparel was. Yeah, it's right there. So yeah, worth definitely worth going. Uh, try going on a weekday. The line should be shorter, but we got we went on a Friday afternoon and the line was like, a, I don't know, like a 20, 30 minute wait, which is not so bad, but I, um, I'm guessing that the line will be a lot longer during the weekend. So yeah, go during the weekday, yay. But yeah, so excited to try this out. And the Glossier store was just so cute. There was just like moss and plants everywhere. And there's like bugs, of course, because bugs live in plants and stuff. But yeah, it just made me feel really fresh. Um, and I think that's what Glossier tries to be. They just try to be like like makeup that's really easy to apply. Like you don't need to like know all of like the beauty guru hacks and stuff to wear it. It's just very simple, very clean, very natural. But yeah. And that concludes my Glossier haul. That concludes my Glossier haul. <laughs> that concludes my Glossier haul. I'm so excited to try.